Okay, so this video is going to be the long overdue, long term review of my Honda Rebel 500. Um, I've had the bike for a year and a half. I've got 16,000 kilometers on it. And I gotta say, I'm still very happy with this bike. I still find it really exciting to ride. I still find myself pushing the bike to its limits and I haven't quite got there yet. And it's just so consistent. Um, it's always the same. If it's a torrential downpour and the roads are slick, it rides like this. If it's gravel and I get stuck taking a different route home that I've never ridden, it's just this. If I've had a bad day or I didn't get enough sleep and I hop on this bike, it just rides like this. It's so nice and calm and stable. And it really makes up for any of my shortcomings. It, it just picks up the slack on days when I'm not 100% there. And I love it because it makes it such a safe bike to ride. And that's part of the reason why I'm never gonna get rid of it. It'll always have a home in my garage simply because it's the safest choice. Um, and, and I love it. I just, I love that. The fact that I know I can just hop on and I can cruise to work and I don't have to worry about the bike being twitchy or punchy. It's just forgiving and, and relaxing. Um, it's just a great bike to cruise on. But it's a great bike to commute on for that same reason. I have a bad day at work. I can go fast, I can get silly, and the bike will do it. Um, but I can have an exhausting day at work and I can get on the bike and the bike will just make sure that I get home. And I, I love it, I just, it's, it's just been really good to me. Um, and I don't treat this bike well by any means. Uh, it gets ridden in the rain, it gets parked in the rain, uh, it gets minimal maintenance because it's supposed to just be my cheap commuter bike. And it's got like next to no issues. I've had no problems. I put on uh, a good set of tires at 8,000 kilometers. And since then I've had better handling. I've had um, great tire life out of these new Pirellis that I put on. And the bike's just more dialed than, than uh, it should be, honestly. <laughs> I, I honestly, I treat this thing like crap and it's just been super good to me. Um, there's a little bit of rust forming on the shock stanchions, on the fork stanchions, I mean, um, under the lower crowns. And there's a rust forming on the headers, on the exhaust headers, and on the muffler. But the bike got ridden late into the fall last year, and then I picked it right back up early in the spring, and uh, it got hit with a lot of salt, you know, that maybe I shouldn't have uh, exposed it to, but I did. So, you know, I, I regret it in a way, but at the same time, there are minor issues. There are things that I can sort out with a can of paint and a bit of steel wool. Um, and the bike is no worse performing for, for it, uh, which is great. 